Hey everybody. So I do apologize. It's been a little while since I've been here. Um, I've been a little, um, um, incapacitated. I always think of decapitated when I hear that word. Anyways, um, but I'm here and I'm hopefully back on track. Um, I'm, I'm healing well and, and ready to move on. So, um, I got a handful of things going on. So it's, today's Friday. Um, this video is going to be a thrifty Thursday on a Friday. Um, just cause you know, that's how I'm having to play things. And then this weekend, I have a list of like five or six different videos I want to tackle. So, I am uh, I am planning to be busy and I'm planning to be back with you guys. So, um, I wanted to start it out with a thrift haul to kind of get some things out of the way. So, I can um, get started on, on playing around with a few of these things that I got today. So, anyways, I did a thrift haul and a, I, I, I did some... Excuse me, I've got the hiccups. I did a, a little thrift shopping today, and our local library has a big, um, they call it a basement sale, but it's a used book sale where they have books super cheap, and they do it every couple of months, and there's been a lot of remodeling going on there, and so they haven't done it in a little while, and it's kind of a crazy event. Like, there's tons of people that go, um... Like, I waited in line. It opened at 10 this morning. I waited in line, like, oh, probably about 20 minutes to get in the door because there were so many people there. Um, anywho, um, so I've got a book haul from that book sale, and I've got a thrift haul from the thrift store. Um, so, thrift store first. I um, picked up this little handful of kids' books is what I've got. Um this ends exploring the night sky. I have kind of in my brain a um, star, moon, starry night type um, idea for a journal that I've been playing around and kind of collecting stuff. I thought I had a, enough good stuff and I sat down the other day and started playing with it. I was like, nope, I need more. So I saw this. It, this book was a quarter and so I thought, goodness, there's plenty of you know, simple pictures to to create with for sure. Uh, <clears throat> it gets into like the um, space and things like that, which I don't know how much of that I'll use. But um, but anywho, um, so there's that. I picked up this. I kind of am on a kick right now of I just really just want to make ephemera. And I have a feeling I have I'm, I'm I'm itching to just take a book and chop it up and make ephemera out of it. And um, this little book was so. There's another starry, <laughs> starry night page. Um, this book was kind of cute. The illustrations were kind of cute, simple. Um, so I thought, well, maybe this will be one of those books that I just chop up. So, um, this was another book from the thrift store. Um, it was in the clearance 25 cents bin. It's been torn up. Um, but the colors, I love the colors of this, this old book. Um, copyright 1946. Um, so yeah, I just loved the colors of this. Um, and so I thought, well, maybe I'll just cut this book up. Um, Nothing particular that I liked out of it, just the colors, really. So, so there's that. Um, and then I got a package of file folders for backing. And then I, they had a yarn bin. So I got some balls of yarn. Uh, I don't know what I'll do with this, but I thought it was pretty. Same with this. I thought it was really pretty. Um, I don't know. And then I got another, uh, one of these. So, again, I don't know what I'll do with these. Probably these two will be used as ties to tie the books. Um, who knows? But we got that. 
nothing specific on those. And I, I, so it's March and you guys can probably look at, notice I haven't done a lot of thrift haul videos because I am kind of trying to not do a lot of thrifting because I've got so much stuff um, that I need to use. And I'm kind of doing a use your stuff kind of mode. Um, but the book sale was going on today and I try to always go to that book sale mainly because, you know, I want to support the library, you know. Um, and then I had a little bit of cash in my pocket. So I was like, well, let me just swing by the thrift store on the way home. So that's, that's where that came out. Um, I got two things of fabric. This I thought was just flowery stuff, but when I opened it, it's like, oh, it's like cactus stuff. But I'm thinking I like this flowery stuff. Not the, um, not really the cactus stuff, but anywho. Um, and then this, I'm thinking there's a lot of this here, but I think it was a dollar <laughs> for all this. Um, I'm thinking this color is going to go well. It's like a canvas material, but I think it's going to go well with a book that, that I'm, that I'm working on. I've, I'm closer to working on it than any of the others right now. So that was my thrift haul. Now the bookstore, here's what I got from, from the book sale. Um, just because they were super cheap. Um, they have kids books. They have them packaged. This was in a bag for five for a dollar. Um, I don't know if I will use any of these. This is such a cute story and cute images and all that, but it's so big. Like the images are so big that it, it's kind of would be hard to, although he's super cute. Um, it would be kind of hard to do. A, oh, and that's cute too. Um, a storybook journal out of the day of Ahmed's secret. Again, they were in a bag. I didn't know what was in this. And I we have a bunch of little libraries around um, town. And so any of these that I don't think I'll use, I will um, I will donate back to that little library. I think this was the main reason why I got this one. Um, the seashells. I don't know why. I, I guess just flipping through, I thought it was going to be a good book, but I don't know. Again, I'll donate it back to the little library if I can't do anything with it. The three little javelinas. Javelinas. Javelinas, is that what that says? This looks kind of cute. Cute images, but I don't know that I will use that either so this this one might end up all I don't know they might end up all back at the little library which is fine it was a dollar no big deal um but like I said I grabbed two of those so joy at Mount Rushmore I don't know about all this one yeah Oh, there's some wildlife. Yeah, so we'll see. Again, I'm okay with donating them to the little library. Here's some more rabbits. Isn't that the same? Little rabbits, baby brother. Little rabbits, loose tooth. Could do a book about little rabbit. Anyways, rainbow crow. Oh, I think this is why I grabbed this one, this bag. Because, uh, Crow, I don't know what a rainbow crow is, but interesting. Interesting. Child's Bible, this one will be donated. Uh, the Seashore book. Here's another Seashore book. Let's see what this one's. This has got some neat beachy images. If oh, crab, that's funny. 
so yeah, I'll flip through these and kind of see if there's anything I want to do with those. Um, under the sun and over the moon. I think I grabbed this one. I mostly grabbed just for the illustrations because, like I said, I'm feeling like I want to. Um, I want to just make ephemera out of images. <laughs> There's some, they're really pretty illustrations, but they're really interesting illustrations. There's a couple of magpies and crows and all that, which, you know, those are my, those get me every time. So, I might read that. It sounds, it sounds like a cute little, like a counting story. Um, so, we'll see about that. Uh, toads and Diamonds. And I will say, again, this was another book that I picked up for the illustrations. This picture here is what got me. And I just think it's so funny. And I I just, I thought it was funny. And I actually thought of my friend Cindy at Studio Lady. I thought, oh my gosh, all those critters. She would love that. Um, but it's a girl. Um, let's see here. Maybe the part of the story will explain what's going on with her. But anyways, um, you know, even if you cut her out, that's a, a pretty cool picture of snakes and frogs. But, you know. But again, we'll see. Like I said, I'm just kind of feeling like I want to chop up a kid's book. And there she, there she is again. Um I'm going to have to read this to figure out what's the deal because they're all, they keep coming out of her mouth. So maybe she was uh, cursed by a witch or something. Oh, that's cute. That one's real cute. So yeah, I might have to read that one to see what's going on with her. Then I found a couple of, I found this one, which Eric Carl is, I'm a fan of Eric Carl. He's so bright and cool. Um, and this one is Dragon's Dragons. Um, I bet there's other critters in here. But I thought these would, these would make bright, cool images. I don't know. We'll see. A book about drag it says dragons dragons and that's the one and only dragon you know that kind of thing but anywho um and then i found this dragonology which these books there's dragonology fairyology wizardology there's there's a good handful of them and they're they're interactive type books um this one is used, of course, and so it's pretty, pretty ragged. But um, I think that there is is plenty to work with. Um, I, I just I think there's plenty to work with to to add some pretty cool ephemera to to a journal. Um, and while these pages look like they're front and back, they're not. They're, I don't know if you can tell, but so, so if you pull them apart, then I have a blank back, basically. So, but you know, there's, there's lots of, to play with, to create ephemera with, um, I think, so. So anyways, I, that's why I kind of like these books. I have a couple of them. Wizardology, Dragonology. You know, you cut that out and there's a little cute little journal card kind of thing. And of course, there's neat images. So, anywho. Um...
dragon dust. That's what that says. It's uh, it's like a little shaker card with glitter in it. So yeah, I mean, some of the pieces have been um, torn off and kind of used. So and then there's a really cool dragon's eye at the at the back. Um, so anyways, yeah, Egyptology, wizardology. So yeah. I went ahead and grabbed it because um, because I have in my mind to do a dragon. Um, of course, most of everything I pick up book-wise, it's like, oh yeah, I'm going to do that. Oh yeah, I'm going to do that. Oh yeah, I'm going to do that. So, next, um, so that was from the book sale. This is also from the book sale, and I was kind of excited about these books because I see them. I see people, you guys, use them, and I can never find them. And I'm talking about old books with cool covers. Um, like this, The Song of the Cardinal. That's so pretty. Um, of course, the insides probably I won't do much with, but... Copyright 1903, 1906, 1912. I say I won't if there's any kind of images throughout here. I didn't flip through them. I was just like, oh, that's a pretty cover. Oh, that's a pretty cover. So, so yeah. I don't know what I'll do with it, but um, maybe a bird book. A cardinal book. Who knows? Um, then we have Rose in Bloom. You can, this one's kind of hard, harder to see. Um, really pretty though. Really pretty inside. Again, I did, excuse me, didn't flip through these because, um, two, 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 two. copyright 1876. Are you sure about that? I don't know. But Rose in Bloom, it's, uh, you know, easy to do a roses book with that, or nature book with that. Little Polly Prentice. Copyright 1902. Oh, this is cute. Um, it looks like somebody scribbled on it, but maybe we can do a little erasing on that and see a couple of images book plates so yeah again these older ones I just grabbed for the cover well I say that except for this one this one's kind of a cool cover but, um, it's also got some really cool images. Random images. But, it's got a little mix of everything in it, so... The Art Literature Readers Book 2. I don't like that the... 1905. I don't like that the pages are slick, but, you know, we'll work with that. And then we got this one. This is The World of Christopher Robin. Uh, I've already done two... Um... Winnie the Pooh type books. Looks like somebody colored in his legs. Um, I've already done two Winnie the Pooh books and they sold pretty quick. And so and this was just a really good size. And you know, it's it's got Winnie the Pooh and Piglet and Christopher Robin and um, and you know, it's got 
It's got color images, which was kind of cool. I think this is like, they're not really, yeah, this is not all about Winnie the Pooh. Just other stories and things like that, but. Um, so this is do do do. Copyright two two two. Well, it's got a 1958 copyright, a 1924, 1952, 1955. These are different renewals and all that. So, I don't know. Maybe for the different stories and things like that in here. I don't know. But, anywho, um, again, bought it for the cover. I thought it was a really cute. It needs to be cleaned up. But, um, I just thought it was a really cute, simple Christopher Robin Winnie the Pooh cover. And last but not least, I was super excited about this. And I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do with it yet, but I was super duper excited about it. I don't know that you can really see Practical Zoology. I just love this. This was such a pretty book. So pretty. Um, it's not colored or anything like that, but I just think it would be a cool animal book. Um... Again, I didn't flip through it, so we'll see. Nineteen thirty one. So let's see here. Well, there you go. That's kind of cool. Well, yeah, there's some cool images in here. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a book of creature skeletons and pieces and parts and kind of like a creepy crawly type. Lots to play with in here. Bugs and all that so anyways I just I just loved it I just thought it was so pretty so that's all I've got for my thrift haul and my book haul um got a lot of things going on like I said I've been kind of out of pocket but I'm back in the groove now and so I'm hopefully not going to bombard you guys too much with a, a good handful of videos but I've got a handful of things that I've got going on that I want to share with you guys so I will be back soon enough. Thanks for joining me on this Thrifty Thursday, but on Friday. And um, it, I, it'll be the, the last one you see for a little while because, again, um, I'm trying not to do some thrifting. And I obviously ended up with a lot of goodies that I can play with. So I have plenty to do, plenty to work with. So no more thrifting for a little while. So anyways, thanks for joining me, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.